welcome to another in the ARM What Is program series. In each episode, we dive into a tech topic to give you insight and perspective into some of today's hottest design trends. I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief at ARM, and today we're going to find out what is 5G RAN, or Radio Access Network. We've talked in this series about what is 5G, but 5G RAN technology is extremely important. What exactly is it, and why should we care? To help us figure that out, I want to introduce Panch Chandra Sikharan, Director of Segment Marketing in ARMS Infrastructure Group. Over the years, Panch has worked on various technologies ranging from high-speed signaling, FPGAs, memories, and ML and data analytics. When Panch isn't helping us understand what is 5G RAN technology, he's playing the drums and jamming with his daughter. So let's dive right in. So Panch, what is 5G RAN? We all have a cell phone. So, and we open it up, we play some cool games, we talk to our friends, have video calls with grandma. Something happens between what we do with our phones, as an example, to where the data processing happens, et cetera. Typically the data processing happens in a data center, in a cloud or a non-cloud environment. Radio access network essentially connects us, the users, to where the data processing happens um, in the cloud or the data center. It's a very important technology. Way the communication happens is digitized data gets modulated into RF waves and that's where the radio happens. I mean, you know, and, and the radio technology converts the RF um, data into digitized data and data processing in terms of sending the packets to the right destination, managing the quality of service, uh, et cetera, and then goes to the core of the network. And so that is radio access technology for you in a nutshell. So why is 5G RAN important at this moment in history? The more uh, the presence of this radio technology exists, the better connected we are. The more efficient the radio technology is, better connected we are, right? And so if you look at the telco spend uh, in it, when it comes to technology, radio access uh, network, the RAN is where bulk of the spend is because it's that important to ensure reliable, high bandwidth connectivity to all of us. So for 5G, this takes the technology up a few notches, right? So from generation over generation, we have higher bandwidth. I mean, we know that 5G is orders of magnitude higher throughput than like 4G. But in addition to that, the latency requirements uh, go from like hundreds of milliseconds to like handful of milliseconds, for example, right? So you can, you can use like very latency critical uh, applications like automated cars, uh, automated factories, et cetera. So that's number one. And number two, the number of connected devices goes up quite a bit. So instead of just connecting people, now you're connecting machines around the world. How do you see the technology evolving in the coming years? So RAN, for the most part, has been black magic, right? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's radio technology, RF technology means like you, you need like really, really smart radio minds to build this. And that's why you, you, you really have very few players in the, in the whole world that, that, are, that are leaders in, in this industry right now. So what's happening there is a lot of the functions that were very custom built um, using like very um, custom built hardware, tightly coupled software uh, is getting disaggregated. Um, so now the interfaces are getting standardized. The baseband unit is getting broken down into like RU, DU and CU, or basically DU and CU from a baseband, contained baseband unit. So that's the disaggregation is happening. And then the next thing that's happening is virtualization of functions. So what used to be very hardware driven functions now are we are seeing a beginning of virtualization of these functions, meaning it's very software driven networking, especially in the higher layers of networking. So that's, that's, an, that's another trend. So the next thing that we are seeing is um, cloudification of, of the network functions. So for example, we've, heard, we've seen um, hyperscalers jump into the 5G networking arena where a lot of the network functions can actually be run in a, in a cloud environment, be it an edge compute, edge uh, deploy, edge data center, like an AWS outpost, for example, uh, that's based on Graviton too, 
or uh, some of the functions can be in, in public cloud and in regional clouds. So that, that's, that's one of the things from a RAN-centric evol evolution of, of technology, right? So you have to look at RAN or connectivity in conjunction with the applications, right? So 5G enables certain applications that weren't possible before, right? And so what is happening is a lot of the processing that used to happen in the cloud will happen closer to where the network or the where the data is created. So you'll see edge data centers that'll not only just process network functions, but will also process like application functions like, like edge-based inferencing, processing of uh, data that's closer to where the data is generated, et cetera. And so that creates a certain economy of uh, economies of scale where you can combine computer resources for, for both network processing as well as for application processing. Thanks so much as always, Ponch, for your amazing insights on this technology. It sounds like it's time to buckle up and, and get ready for uh, an awesome adventure ahead. Now, check out all our other What Is episodes here and be sure to subscribe to this channel because we'll be adding more as the year progresses. Thanks for listening.